family. I hope you guys are having the best October. I am so excited today to play with a set of stickers that we actually released in August and I haven't had a chance to play with them yet because I've been waiting for you. I am loving my neutral Erin Contran planner. It is just making my life so much more organized and just feeling like everything works together from a paper and glam sticker perspective, but there were a couple pages in this planner that I just felt like needed a little glam, and they are the intro pages. So they are this page here, and we're gonna take a closer look in just a minute if you're new to Erin Condren, and this page here. So I created a set of stickers specifically designed to glam up those two pages, and there's actually another one in the back, but we'll get to that in just a second. So I just signed the Glam Yearly stickers to give those three pages that I felt like just needed a little glam. I wanted to give them some seasonal spark. So today we're just gonna play with these uh, Glam Yearly stickers. And I just wanna show you how cool these look inside the Erin Condren planner. All right, let's dive into the planner. So the pages we're gonna work on today are just right inside the front cover here, and they are these uh, yearly overviews. So there's this one, and then there is uh, this one. And there's been a lot of discussion on the Paper and Glam planning group about different ways to use these. So there's a million different ways to use these pages, and I'm gonna show you my ideas. But then there's also, these pages in the back here that are for 2018. So you'll notice my planner ends in June because it was already getting kind of chunky and so I actually ripped out all of the pages July through December because it wouldn't close and I know that I'm going to be getting a new planner in December because EC usually comes out with something new and fabulous that I need air quotes on need and <laughs> my planner wasn't closing. So that's the story there. Let's start with this page. So Glam Yearly has, a, it's a two page set and to glam up all of these pages, you're actually gonna need two of these sticker sets and there is plenty for everyone. So this is the first page and these months are designed to fit perfectly in these boxes and then these are little just monthly stickers that we actually include them in each of the monthly kits too. You'll notice there's always an October sticker, a November sticker, there's always kind of something for the month and you could use those for a million different things in the back of your, your planner. You could make a list of books you've read or maybe if you're tracking fitness goals or I'll show you how I use them really quickly. We'll do a brief little tangent here. I use them to track what I'm working on for power hour. And I, this is kind of impromptu, so you'll see it's not, it's not completed here, but Power Hour, if you're new, it's a concept that I first heard about through Gretchen Rubin. I believe it's her own invention, and it's where you set a timer every day for 15 minutes and you tackle a nagging task. And I have a lot of nagging tasks, and not necessarily that they're not fun tasks or, you know, they're things I don't want to do, but they're things that I keep pushing out every day, right? And every day they don't get done and I'm like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow and it's been like months, right? And I'm sure you have those tasks as well. So I was creating columns in the back for each month, things that I really need to get to and just spend like 15 minutes a day so I'm not overwhelmed. And I've been using the little stickers from Glam Yearly inside little power hour boxes, which are from the Glam Office Collection, I'll link that below. And that's how I've been using them, but there's so many different fun ways. And I would love to see how you're using these stickers in the Paper and Glam Planning Group too, or on Instagram, of course, anywhere you wanna hit me up, I'd love to see it. And of course too, there's not one way to use these stickers, right? If this, I'm gonna show you how I designed it, but I'm sure there's different ways that you could incorporate them. Like for example, I know that Jen Boom had been using the these stickers for this banner right here and they do fit perfectly on that banner so that's another option i am using the glam memory keeping dashboards on these pages of my ec and i'll link those below as well if you haven't seen them it's a fairly new release so i didn't want to use these here but that's an option as well all right let's put down some stickers 
Page two of Glamierly is what we're going to be using for these pages. And there's a sticker for every month and there's one that goes on the top and one that goes on the bottom. These are, these stickers are on the small side. So I'm going to take my tweezers and apply them. And I'm just gonna flip my planner over so I can get a little more leverage around the binding. Even though, even though I ripped out so much of my planner pages here, it's still pretty thick. So I'm just gonna put that right over, ah! All right, putting down stickers on camera is always fun. Okay, so there we go. So you see how the tweezers are, are needed. Oh, and I messed up my S a little. I was holding too tightly. That's all right. These colors are also, also coordinate with the Glam Planner colors. So if you're just getting connected, I have a planner called the Glam Planner. Yes, it is still coming out. I hit a couple little manufacturing bumps and ended up deciding to switch vendors kind of at the last minute. And we'll talk more about that later. But I each month of the planner has a different color. And then that color also coordinates with the sticker collections. So there's kind of an official monthly color and there's a lot of us that also get matching manicures and we we go through these seasonal living lists together each month and yeah we just have a lot of fun in the paper and glam community it's kind of a whole lifestyle in and of itself <laughs> and uh oh this one's slanting up a little bit but when we're done here you won't be able to tell these things so rarely go on just perfect but it's art, it's not supposed to be perfect. All right, there's that. So for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and finish applying all of these stickers. At this point, you guys get the idea and can kind of see how this is going to be coming together. Okay, here's how it looks totally done. And just to give you guys a before and after, this is my memory planner, which I haven't put Glam Yearly in yet, but look how fun this looks versus the, the plain black. Isn't that just the perfect amount of seasonal spark, but still just providing a nice, clean, uniform look? Oh, it's heaven. All right, let's tackle this next page. So there's so many different ways to use this. I saw one of the gals in the Paper Glam Book Club was using these and putting little pictures of the books that she'd read every month here. And I thought that was such a cute, fun idea. But how I am using it is kind of like a year in review. And so I have been putting down pictures from like the best day of every month. So in July, my favorite day was moving into my new apartment, which I'm sure won't surprise those of you who have been hanging with me for a while. That was a very highly anticipated move for me and I'm so excited to show you my new apartment as soon as I get done with this video. I'm actually gonna give you guys a little tour. So that is how I'm using this section and this is from my housewarming party with my family that was so fun and my mom's peach cobbler if you are living along with our seasonal living lists peaches are in season in august and so the uh, one of the kind of recipe ideas is to try a peach treat and so that is my mom's peach cobbler that was what i requested she bring to my my little housewarming and then September here is a picture of my office because I finally got unpacked and got just everything set up after the move and I know it took three months and 
Oh my gosh, I'll have to catch you guys up on the vlog series of like the move was just like a fiasco and sometimes they are. October obviously is in progress, so I don't have a favorite memory of like the day that just stands out the most for me here, but I have a feeling it's gonna be when I go to Disneyland with my family on Friday. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put down the rest of the months, January, February, March, April, May, June. Oh, I forgot November and December. November, December, January, February, March, April, May, and June. Here's how this spread looks. And I'm just so excited for the story that this is gonna tell at the end of my year. And it works out perfectly because I'm gonna finish up this planner in June. And whether you're on academic year or traditional calendar year, we'll decide whether you start in January or you start in July. I like to keep my daily planner in academic time and my memory planner in the traditional year. So it's like I have my memories from an entire year. And what a fun story this is going to tell. I don't know if this, these are gonna look the same. I haven't decided. Maybe I'll do different memories when I get to 2017, but we're not in 2017 yet, so I'm not sure. And I haven't started this year yet because I know this planner. I actually only ordered the <laughs> January through December, but they sent, they sent the previous months, which is totally fine. Um, I can just rip them out. I, like I said with this planner, I know that if I would did try to do 18 months in here, it wouldn't fit because it's already pretty full when it when it comes. So when you add to it stickers and pictures and all that good stuff, it gets thick pretty fast. So that's that. And then it's also gonna be fun to kind of look and see the story that I'm telling with, with these memory dashboards. Like I'm gonna put a picture here and let's see if I can show you guys September. I'm still getting the hang of these little dashboards. We just released these last month, so I haven't had much time to play around, but I love how it's looking with my September seasonal living list and some fun pictures, memories, and then a little currently section. And I just fill it out as I go. So loving, planning, wearing, watching, all that good stuff. And then here I thought I would start keeping track of how the Paper and Glam community is growing. So get connected with Facebook, or subscribe on YouTube, or hang out with me on Instagram and I can kind of see how many of you guys um, are hanging out with us because we have a lot of fun together as anyone in the Paper and Glam community will attest. All right, let's go ahead and switch to the back pages. And this is kind of a look ahead for 2018, which is interesting because I'm going to be done with this planner June 2017 and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use these. So I'm not going to put down my Glam Yearly stickers right now, but if you do want to use this section, then you'll want to grab two of the Glam Yearly sticker sets because you'll need two full ones to do both this this page and then the the front two pages. And what I think I'm gonna do actually is use this section in my memory planner to look ahead to 2018 because that makes a little more sense because I'm not gonna be in this planner by the end of the year. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that in my memory planner and just deck these out. All right, that is a wrap on how to glam up your neutral Erin Condren planner. If you are new to Paper and Glam, please hang with me for just a second because I have a few little housekeeping items that, that will help you get connected. And then if you are a longtime Paper and Glam fan and especially if you're a customer, I have an announcement for you guys too. So real quickly, if you're just getting connected to Paper and Glam, please be careful when you're in the shop because everything is released in digital and glam mail, which is physical stickers. So if you want physical stickers, make sure you are, you are shopping under glam mail. And I'm going to link glam yearly down below in the description, of course, so you'll have a direct link to both the digital and the glam mail versions, but if you get outside of those links, just make sure you know which area of the shop you're shopping in. All of the digital listings say very clearly, please note this is a digital listing and no physical 
product will be shipped to you. For physical products, please shop here with a link. But it's still, I get, daily I get folks who are get really excited and make their own purchase, and that is very time consuming for both of us. So please, please, please watch what you are purchasing. Okay, now for everyone, you may know that there it has been 20% off orders of $100 for the longest since I actually launched the new Paper and Glam shop. We are in the process, and that was in May if you're just joining us, we're in the process of launching another edition of the Paper and Glam shop. So the Glam shop's about to get another upgrade and that promotion is ending. It's going to end at the end of the month and it's you'll already see it doesn't show up in the shop anymore. What shows up is free shipping on orders over $60 and that is for international customers as well. It automatically is applied. There's no code needed but I wanted to let you know that Hot Glam 20% off orders of $100 is expiring at the end of the month. I didn't want to just pull it without giving you guys a heads up. If you want to stock up please use it before Halloween. Get yourself some trick-or-treats and you could also get free shipping as well through the end of the month. So definitely mark your planners 1031 is the last day for the hot glam, hot glam discount. All right, I think that's about it. I hope you guys are enjoying this getting back on schedule here. We did a candle haul on Sunday. We just did a planner video, of course, and I'm going to try and alternate between planner videos and lifestyle videos. So the next video is going to be the home tour. I know that I have kept you guys waiting, and I am sorry for that, but the next video is going to be a look at my new home and I'm so excited to have you guys over and show you. All right, I am so grateful for each of you for watching. Thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me and I hope that you are as excited as I am by the Glam Yearly offering. And these are $5.99 in the shop, so go grab a couple and give your planner some seasonal spark. Until next time, I'll see you guys Sunday. Bye.